So guys, I'm going to be working on some gold leaf today. I thought I'd work it to my process. Um, I prefer this moment. I like the ducks. Quick size. Um, a lot of us put a screw in here that we don't have to open this can. I need to get a new one soon. But anyway, just put a little screw. Pour a little out on the surface here. And a little bit will really go a long way. So, um, I like to use these uh, brown tack lines, white tack lines, short, but they really nice chiseled edge, and you can really push the sizing around very smooth and fast. Um, if I'm going to tint it, like on a surface like this, a blue, I will use like a white, an ivory, or something, you know, yellow, and I won't use very much, just a tiny drip. I'll show you that right now. Um, I'll put. Wait, 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 way too much. I usually just take a drip. Anyway, I'm just going to take like this little bit like that, and I'll work that into my sizing. And that's going to be enough. That's more than enough to make it just a little bit more visible. So um, I already have size here, and on this line here, I'm going to show you. And they've been setting for about 45, 55 minutes now. I usually set a timer. Um, I'm in my apartment. It's 70 degrees. Turned off the fans and everything. So anyway, apply, apply this just really smooth. Like I said, that one bit will take care of more than this whole area here. Just want to get it smoothed out quick, and not as many as uh, don't overwork it. You don't want a bunch of brush strokes in it, and that's probably good. Um, if you hold it to the light, sometimes you can see. Mine's kind of grainy, actually. It looks like I need a new batch of sizing. So that's on the list as soon as the art store is open. Um, but you can see in the light where you'll miss a spot if, if you have. I noticed a spot over here a while ago. It was kind of like I effed up. Anyway, so yeah, I'll set, smooth that. It's done. I'll set that timer for, like I said, 50 minutes, 55 minutes to an hour, 45 minutes. It just depends, man. you got to figure out that timing yourself. Um, after that, you can start laying leaf after your, your time. Be patient, you know, really. It's got to be just right. I like to cut my leaf in strips. Usually it comes in, you know, full book, of course. Um, I'll just take a nice straight edge and a razor, trim off it. I try not to do less than an inch because it gets really hard to work with. It gets really fragile, delicate, starts ripping on you. So I just like to take a book like this, I'll leave it in the corner, and I like to line it up and just kind of press down on the area I'm going. And that's, yeah, I missed a spot, no big deal. You'll get it. Better alignment. And you can kind of press it in like that with the paper. Sometimes it stays in there better. I'm working at an angle here, so it's kind of difficult for me. This is imitation leaf. If you're working with like copper or real silver, some things you don't want to touch. With the imitation, you can. You'll get oil and stuff in there. It will. It, you'll see fingerprints sometimes. I should have covered this better with one shot. But anyway, I don't mind wasting a little leaf. So after that, I like to press it in with my finger. I also use a, um, a brayer wheel. Do you know what that is? Um, one of these. This works great too. Um, some people pull the tape before they lay their leaf. That's optional, I guess. I like to keep my tape on until I'm done. It gives me a nice, crisp clean edge to pinstripe against. This is not the best demonstration here, but you'll get the idea. Yeah, this works pretty good too. Let's see some guys using that. Now that's pretty much ready to spin. A few holidays, just kind of... Maybe I didn't get enough size in there. Um, they also make it in rolls. 
already, so you don't have to cut these strips, you know, it's about the same width almost. Um, this is gold, I think. And then I have silver. And then um, somewhere here, I have variegated. This is a very thin, this is about a half inch. But I want to demonstrate that one as well. So just, uh, I like to take a workable size. Push it down. I always tear it off the roll. For, for me, it's easier than leaving it on the roll before I lay it down. If you miss it, sometimes it takes the paper and pulls the leaf awkwardly and gives it a bunch of little wrinkles. That works pretty good, too. This is variegated, like I said. They do have silver and gold. Um, I, I never spin my variegated. To me, it looks funny. Some people do. But if I'm going to spin this, I would do it now. Um, I have these tools. I had machined different sizes, half inch, quarter inch, inch. Some I have Velcro on. And this is a Trizac pad that I've cut down. You see this everywhere. People use their size there. Um, some people use scissors and exacto knives, whatever to cut those. You can also get this 12 piece hole punch set or different sizes. This is a cheap set from maybe Harbor Freight. And you just uh, hammer it out. Bam, 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 bam. You get these perfect little circles. And I just super glad it. I like to stack them up usually. I'll do two. That way it gives me a little cushion for it. I don't know, you don't press that hard anyway, but I, I always, like I said, I stack two. And you can put it in a drill, or you can do it by hand. Um, I do prefer the drill, but if you don't have it, you can also, I mean, I see people using corks and bottle caps and all kinds of weird shit to make these, but whatever works for you. Like I said, I had these machined, because I know a guy. But anyway, you just put there, and just spin it maybe a quarter, half turn. I'm not pushing hard, and I'm, well, I'm overlapping about a quarter of a turn every time. And it's really important to try to keep these, you want to keep this center because it's going to make it look more snazzy, you know? And just keep doing that. This wasn't the best application of leaf. Maybe it dried too fast on me. It is a little warm today. So you have to figure out your own times. And that's how you get this spins. And like I said, it's it looks better if they're all kind of centered going down you'll see it, it kind of gives it a nice effect like CD like a top of a CD kind of you know so you can turn this stuff too I forgot that was usually I usually press my leaf or, or burnish it with this uh, little microfiber towel if there's a 99 cent store near you this is usually in the automotive section of the 99 cent store Dollar Tree whatever uh, it's just super soft microfiber. So yeah, I usually do that. This is sized and it's effed up already. But that was a demonstration, so don't sweat it. So yeah, I can go back in there now. And if you wanted to spin this variegated, which I said looks kind of weird to me. I don't prefer it spun. It doesn't even do it well. You can put this on a drill. And I'm not really pushing hard, I'm letting this, pretty much the pressure of the drill itself, the weight of the drill itself. So you get the idea, it kind of looks okay. I don't prefer it. Anyway, you know, the reason I was working with some leaf is because of this piece here. 
And um, yes, it's already leafed, but I'm not happy. I had some, like in this area here, I had some holidays. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo the whole thing. I've already got the leaf down. And uh, I'm just gonna show you the rest of the process now. I mean, I already have the sizing down, and it's been well over 45 minutes to an hour. On this one, I will use the rolls because I'm in a hurry now, and it's easy. So you just take these rolls. Like I said, I tear off the size I need. This is almost 18 inches there. That'll work. And this you can just line up, press down, and leave it. Try not to mess with it too much because you will get some wrinkles, and once it wrinkles, it looks horrible. Um, same side thing over here. Now, while this is on here, I can take my brayer or my finger or my palm. I used to use my palm and my finger a lot, but this works just as well. It's fast. And I'm pushing hard as I can right now. I mean, I'm pushing hard. I want that leaf to stick in all the corners and crevices. When I pull this up, I want it to be on there good. And this is the spot here. And we'll just finish this off real quick. It's hard because it's. Yeah, these strips do not bend. So I have tape on the outside, if you can see, and this green line there is actually another thin, thin sixteenth inch. FBS tape, just for a different effect, you know. Okay, once we have this on, I'm gonna go ahead and spin this whole panel too. Just make sure these are all pressed down really good. Make sure you get in there. No holidays. There's a spot I missed. Okay. Take my little towel. And this one I'm kind of pressing hard. I want to get the wrinkles out if there are any, and I want to get any of the excess leaf and I want to make sure I'm getting in the, all these little crevices so I'm actually kind of using kind of using my fingernail under here a little bit to get in these corners not to try to scratch it or anything which this is kind of really will take a lot to make this scratch I think it, it makes burnishing this pretty easy and this takes off all the excess that you don't want even though that's in a roll, I don't know if you can see it, it comes in a roll, um, but there's still like every six inches, just like if you were to apply it like in a strip, you can see where they, yeah, it's in a roll, but it's like a, a piece, a piece, a piece, you know? So you still have these little bit of asshole things. <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and start spinning it. Oh, yeah, and there's glitter out there in the middle, it's kind of cool. Bear with me. And you just want to go straight up and down. You don't want this thing to, when you're touching it, you don't want, because it's going to, whatever you do is going to show, you know? Go straight up and down, just barely touching it. Letting it just spin maybe three, four times there.
Again, trying to keep it centered. Going down that same line makes a big difference in how your leaf looks. I see a lot of guys just randomly spinning leaf sometimes, and to me it looks... I try to make it look... Um, if you get this build up, you can kind of spin it off my t-shirt or whatever. But anyway, uh, I see a lot of guys just randomly, if they have a big pattern of leaf, and they just start randomly putting it, and if you look at real old machine work from like the 50s, 60s, 70s, when people took pride in that machined aluminum look, they were straight, parallel to each other, going across. But yet they were staggered like a brickwork, you know? So, I don't know. Take some pride in your... It, it shows. Some guys do, and it shows. Some guys just start randomly throwing circles out there, and then... I don't know. That's what it looks like, randoms. There should be a pattern to it, almost. So I'm almost done here. I'm going to pull this tape right now. And then I would clear this. You know, if you have an automotive shop, of course, you can clear it. If you have an automotive shop, of course, clear it with some real clear. But this has been working for me a lot. Uh, 2K Spray Max. It's about 20 bucks a comes a little red thing and you puncture the bottom activates this if you don't use it within a days week it'll start to harden up on you so you do have to kind of use it otherwise it's 20 bucks down the drain but it hardens up it acts to me just like a real automotive clear coat um, so when I'm pulling I'm pulling 90 degrees up and I'm pulling away so that way I get that edge too. And look at that, it's a clean, clean as you can get edge. Like it almost doesn't need pinstriping if you don't. If some guys didn't want it. And then there's a little guy in the middle. Which is always hard to get started sometimes without effing up the leaf. So that's basically it guys, um, as you can see, get nice clean edge, clean leaf, you wait about an hour, ducks sizing, spreads thin, cheap ass brushes, everything here cost me, you know, maybe 50 to 100 bucks with everything, depending on the tools you use. It's not expensive to start, and that's not what people are paying for. They're paying for you to, for all this time and effort that it took me to learn how to get the spins and the leaf to lay out like a mirror, and that's what they're paying for. You can use real gold leaf if you want. Totally optional. I haven't found a customer in my area that's willing to pay for it. And I deal with a lot of lowriders, but some people... And I've even done fire engines, and I still used imitation leaf, and had some great results. But anyway, hope that helps. If you have any questions, hit me up below, I'll try to answer them.